Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Cognac Tribe presenting Victory Dance One Town Blue. One Town Blue. After killing and decapitating the enemy's head, warriors and men of the village sing and dance euphorically with the trophy. They sing praises to the unseen spirit for helping them overcome their enemies.
ladies and gentlemen, and the commanding cultural troop from the Futuri tribe of Nauru. Next we have from the Zanian tribe of Nauru. This dance is performed by men who have attained a marriageable age, bearing with women they love. Married women do not take part in this dance. The item that they are going to perform is a song sound for young men. It's called Grab Hold of That Girl's Hand, the hand of that beautiful girl, hold her hand and dance. How fit and harmonic it will be. While Belyani is one of the biggest festivals of the Zaynis, Chaga Gadi is one of the Lingmas. These two festivals share similarity although the former is celebrated in the last part of February or first part of March according to the lunar calendar and the latter at the end of October. The two are festivals of purification and sanctification of the male of the community and is basically a ritual for grooming young men to become strong warriors and to invoke the spirits of good fortune, courage and agility. Ladies and gentlemen, Piro Cultural Club from Woka Town from the Lotha Tribe presenting Hiyohi, a folk song. Hiyohi, this love song is dedicated to a young woman. While working in the field, a young man saw a 
Tetsu Koko, which is the beautiful grass purple. John, by its beauty, he organized it to his level. Ladies and gentlemen, that was from the local local tribe presented by the Hero Cultural Club Kiyohe. Next, we have the Garo Historical and Cultural Society presenting the Garo tribe with their item called Rugala. This is an item called Rugala. Rugala is practiced by the ancient archers as a thanksgiving for the blessing showered by the sun god. Sanjong, the pagan priest, does the ritual who predicts the future for whether they will be a rich harvest, a suffer, if a mind. The priest says all the prayers and spells to please the sun god, Mrs. Sanjong. He has two helpers who help him in doing the ritual. One stands by the side to see that there is no interference during the prayer. Another helps him by supplying the necessary thing required by the priest for the ritual. The priest now takes the crown as an offertory to offer to the sun god. Actually, a bull was offered, but when they did not get what they had offered, a pair of crown is used as an offering. The priest utters a spell and pleads to the sun god to accept the offering.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Borough Historical and Cultural Society from Dimapu has just represented Borough Tribe and the item was Rukala. Ladies and gentlemen, next we have the Chekia Women Cultural Group from Dimapu representing the tribe Sumi and they'll be performing Once upon a time, there lived a man and his wife, who was pregnant. One day, before the birth of their offspring, a tiger killed the man. Soon the wife gave birth to twin sons, and she raised them up single-handedly. As they grew up, they asked whether their father was. The mother told them that the tiger killed them. The Sumi tribe, also known as Sebas to many, are well known as the warrior tribe. The tribe's major festival is called Tuni, which marks the accomplishment or completion of seed sowing and is celebrated with great festivity during the month of July, from brewing sessions to the slaughter of animals. But more than taking taste buds, the day is important for meat diplomacy gifting specific portions of the slaughtered animal to show respect to elders, strengthening family ties, and to cement friendship. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Sumi tribe. Ladies and gentlemen, the Czechia Women Cultural Group from Morocco, presenting the Sumi Tribe. Next, we have the Angami Tribe, presenting a folk dance by the Topama Village Cultural Troupe. 
The Alami tribe is one of the major tribes of Nongland. Kohima is inhabited by a major population of the Angamis. Sikrinu, which is falls in the month of February, is a 10th day festival celebrated by Angamis, which also marks the beginning of the lunar year. The Angamis are also known for terrace wet rice cultivation. Because of this labor-intensive cultivation, land is the most important form of property among the Angamis. They are one of the only two group of Nagas out of the 17 who practice wet rice cultivation on terraces made on the heat slopes. This allows them to cultivate the same plot year after year. Ladies and gentlemen, they'll be performing a folk song, which is usually performed during festivals and auspicious occasions. Young boys and girls of the village, irrespective of the different cares, come together dressed in their traditional attires and perform this song. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Tokama Village Cultural Group presenting the Angami Tribe. Next, we have the Kuki Cultural Troupe in Bu, and they'll be performing a folk dance called Kul Lam. As you can see, the cookie embellished themselves with ornaments including earrings, bracelets, and bangles, necklaces, and occasionally a type of ring shaped earrings to stretch their ear. Both men and women of this tribe enjoy smoking from the extensively crafted pipes. The pipes, which are made from stones and brass metal, is called simple color and made only from brass metal, which also known as. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the Cookie Cultural Troop in Rome presenting the Cookie Troop. Next, we have from the Yom Chulo Tribe.
represented by the Saramati Rokhampong Dancing Club, Salongi Village. And they'll be performing an item called the Lok Drum Song Kong. Song Kong, which is a Lok Drum, is a traditional instrument carved out of a large block of wood and hollowed out. Its main purpose is to communicate messages. The different beats send out different messages. It is used to sound alarm when enemies attack, to convey warning in times of calamities or death of a person, and to welcome the victorious warriors. The Yuktuber believe that each male has six souls and each woman has five. Metunyo, celebrated during the month of August, is one festival of the tribe that is celebrated with great festivity for five days. If Metunyo has an added zing, it is believed that cause is because of the extra soul each Yuktuber person carries.
Yes, as riders, we're here together because we love adventure and we love to ride. But we also ride with a purpose. And today, we're here first to promote the Great Hornbill Festival of Nagaland. And also, today being the International Day for People with Disability, we are also gathered here to show to share our support and also to share our solidarity for the differently abled people here. I'll just share a short story on myself. I am myself am a different uh, people with a, I am a person with a disability. And one thing I want to tell you all is, uh, if you are new to this uh, disability thing, uh, please do not mention us as handicapped people or disabled people. We are also able people like you are. Some of you will be amazed by if you see what we can do. Some things we can do which you cannot do. Some things which we can do, we cannot do. So we are all equal and every human being, we are all disabled in some way or the other. And about me, I am also a differently able uh, a person with a disability. I lost my left forearm a couple of years back from a tragic accident. But that doesn't put me behind others. I am equal, you are equal, we are all equal in the eyes of God. And today I want to pass a message to you all. So uh, let's just not hear it and end it here. When you go home, tell them of us and say, we are fighting for our rights. Be a social worker in a little way. That's a short message to you all. You don't need a degree, a diploma, a PhD for that. Just pass a short message to your friends, family members, all your loved ones. Even though you have disabled this uh, persons with disability, your friends, siblings, even if you don't have, just pass the message and keep fighting for us every day. Whatever you have done for us, this thanks for taking the initiative and sometimes we receive monetary funds, financial assistance, donations and all. But what I always say, what I always challenge, particular word which our brother has mentioned now that they are equal, everyone is equal. It's such a blessing to hear that and uh, we are so blessed and I believe none of you would 
feel that way that uh, this is just an ordinary program right now i don't think you will feel like that now i think we are all blessed right yes. let's yes. give a big yes. cheer uh, before i hand over this is not so much but we want to be care for you be care for you from my heart we do a lot man of young here blessing the woman that is Thank you all so much. Dear friends, I salute each and every one of you on behalf of our organization, uh, which is working for the differently able in the Southern Jakhama block. We have about 270 plus members, uh, particularly in uh, 10 villages here. The little members that we have here, they have been able to come for this uh, special day. Uh, it's all because of you. And uh, this year's theme of full participation and equality for the World Disabled Day. We wanted to have this opportunity for a long, long time. And for many of us here, it is for the first time. And for some of us, maybe it will be the last time also. But this opportunity is something that we really want to acknowledge each one of you. And wherever you are, we hope that this cause that you have touched us today will always linger with us. And with all our friends here, they, um, most of them, they are, uh, differently able but in their own way they are all very special uh, we have here most of them the children who really wanted to come and see what is Hornwheel all about Hornwheel has been happening here since the last uh, uh, four five years but they've just heard about it so today is a special day for them and uh, since morning they have been really having the feeling of what Hornwheel what people have actually experienced so this is an opportunity that we have been able to uh, experience all because of you. Thank you so much. Uh, we have to our program. Yeah. All right. Now I'll give time to the booth of Assam. Our brother, he, you can finally come and take the time. Bro, what time is Assam? But we have to.
According to oral traditional stories of the Chinese, it is said that they have emerged from a place known as Changsang Mongko and settled at a place called Changsang. This was the first named village of the Chang. There, at the center of the village, they construct a platform called Munangshan, where judgments and decisions that were passed became the final order. The main festival of the Chang is Nam Yulem, which falls in the month of July. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all put our hands together and appreciate the Chang community for presenting the War Dance One Period Chair. Next, we have from the Owl Tribe, which will be presented by the Awesome Kung Cultural Club from Mokokchu District, and they'll be performing an item called Anga Manu, which is a fish dance. The Owls believed that community fishing was an important part of the social life of our forefathers. While living in the ancestral site of Chukling Yimti, the Diku River was the spot for their fishing adventures. Legend has it saying that they saw a large shoal of fish called Nga Pung Mia in the deep waters. All these fishes were swimming in line, starting from the biggest to the smallest fish seeming to enjoy the company of each other. It so charmed and attracted them that after returning to their village, they started imitating the fish movements, which was named as Anga Malu. Today, this dance is performed in all the festivals with the hope that this fish dance will give a clear picture of fishes dancing together in Diku Rivian. Ladies and gentlemen, I would also like to take this time and acknowledge the presence of Sri E. E. who is an advisor to the Tourism Department. Ladies and gentlemen, can we all clap our hands and acknowledge
acknowledge his presence here in the midst of us. Thank you so much for your time and for being part of the second part of the cultural program. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, 
a medium age culture, true? The Chakasan community. Next, we have the Dimasa Cultural Troop from Dimapur who will be presenting the Kachari tribe. This is an indigenous game called Rimin Nalai Gaba. Rimin Nalai Gaba is one of the traditional games of the Dimasa Kachari. Rimin refers to the rice powder and Nalai Gaba means pushing each other. In this game, two persons holding on each end of rice powder tries to displace each other by pushing by using their strength and technique. Thus, it is purely testing of strength. So it mainly is participated by the youth in this game and the competition and the completion may be between two villages or colonies.
Ladies and gentlemen, Pelletary Women's Society from Kipiri Town, the Sangtam Tribe. Ladies and gentlemen, next we have Kuna Cultural Troupe from Paul Tribe. Paul is one of the major tribes inhabiting Longland, the street of Melbourne. With beating of log drums, Mona is a New Year festival with a difference. It provides an opportunity for the male member of the family to show love on their married daughters and sisters by gifting the best rice beer and especially prepared food. Amid the customary feasting and merrymaking, the festival is a time for the community to plan the general welfare and agricultural activities of the year ahead. Today they are performing an item called Invoking Love, which means Nangle is one.
ladies and gentlemen, that was from the Paul community. Next, we have the Rengma tribe, presented by the Terogunyu Youth Dengme Cultural Troupe, who would be performing an item called the Wood Pulling. It's called Fonkadu Kese, which refers to a single, huge, solid, elaborately carved wooden pillar placed at the front entrance of the mural. The process of selection of the tree, the carvings, the completion of the pillar, etc., all entrance strict observance of rituals and getting. On a day fixed for pulling, all able-bodied men go to the forest where the pillar is ready and ceremonially pulled it along and installed at the entrance of the village morrow. In olden times, warriors hung their victim's head on the Pukedun as a sign of bravery and achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Rengma tribe showcasing the wood pulling ceremony. For that purpose, in the morning of the appointed day, the men will dry the bedding and also collect the rice pounding log. During the day, the female group will trash the bedding and we know it for the purpose of brewing rice beer. The communities are also another major tribe inhabiting the Tulsang district of Nauvalin. The, the weavers from Kyungas are renowned for their fine and delicate designs. The traditional Kyungan attire consists of bright red and bright deep blue colored dresses. The ornaments are made of cowries and conch shells. The Kyungan tribals who traditionally practice chew cultivation slash and bird color agriculture celebrate the new festival at the time of sowing. 
They offer prayers for a good harvest.